this is Mrs. C. Today we're going to look at parts of a hive. Okay, now we're going to look at the parts of the hive. Now in this yard, we have both eight frame Langstroth hives and 10 frame Langstroth hives. And I'm going to show you the parts of that hive. Now Langstroth is the most popular hive. Uh, at least in the United States, there's also something called top bar and a long Langstroth. All those hives have one thing in common, and that's that they have removable frames. And I'll show you some frames as we put the hive together. And the reason for that is we need to be able to remove the frames to check for bee diseases and bee health. So we're going to start with the hive stand. Now there are many different ways to have hive stands. This one is made of plastic. Over here we have cinder blocks. Some people use wood. It doesn't really matter as long as it's sturdy and can hold the hive. Now the hive, when it has uh, full supers of honey in it, can weigh well over 100 pounds. So whatever you're using has to be sturdy. This hive stand also has a frame stand on it. Now the next thing we're gonna put down on that is our entrance board and what that does is it's going to give the play the bees a place to land as they come in is it necessary no as you'll see in this hive they don't have that they don't have this diagonal piece they just have a uh, that small entrance there so the next thing we're going to put on is a bottom board this is a screened bottom board some bottom boards can be solid uh, I prefer screen because it gives more ventilation and this is going to match up with here so the bees will land here and then walk in here. Okay. When we're looking at a hive, and particularly if you look at this one, you'll see some boxes are deeper than others. Typically, the bottom boxes are called brood boxes, the deeper ones, and we're going to put the first box on here, lining it up. And now you can see where the bees enter. That would be right there. And then we're gonna put the second brood box on. If this hive actually had bees in it, at some point, we'd be adding these more shallow, medium supers for honey that we could actually harvest. Now, in these boxes are frames that are already what we call drawn out. That means the bees have created the wax and I will show you a couple of those frames. So this one is a really nice one because it has pollen stored in it. And you could see the yellow pollen in there, which the bees would feed to their brood or babies. And then I wanna compare that one to this one. And you'll see that there is a different color of wax. Hello. And the reason there's a different color is Newer wax is whitish or white yellow, and darker wax means that it's older because it's called travel stain. The bees have walked over it and made it dirty. They have dirty feet. So I'm gonna put these frames back in. And then the next part of the hive, straighten everything out, would be the inner cover. that goes right here if there's a super like this one on top here this creates a place for the bees to walk in otherwise we could do what we did here and put a hole in the middle there so they can come in through the top super and the last thing we would do is put on our outer cover and this is a lighter cover so the last thing we would do after that is put a nice heavy rock on top so that it doesn't uh, fly off in the wind. And that is all the parts of a Langstroth hive.